Who do you think will be the Marilyn Monroe of our generation and why? No one. There hasn't been a Marilyn Monroe of any generation since the original. No one. Back then, movie stars were very protected by the studios and the public didn't see them as everyday people. That's not possible today. There won't be another one, and that's a good thing. The poor woman was used and abused by, so many men, but somehow she managed to hold her head up high until she was shut down. I.D. say Britney Spears. I love her, but the poor thing had a number done on her by her family. She was charming, really smart, was forced to be dumbed down to be taken seriously and was a mega popular star back in the 90s and 2000s. She was also sexualized just like Marilyn. I feel like if Marilyn lived longer the same thing would have happened to her that happened to Britney. Different era. No one will come close. If you think people will be talking about Robbie or Sweeney in 60 years like they still do Marilyn, you're deluded. Britney Spears. Talented, blonde sex symbol but has her demons. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Marilyn Monroe is the Marilyn Monroe of my generation and Marilyn Monroe will be the Marilyn Monroe of whatever generation is in 100 years from now, because she isn't fairly comparable and she will always be known. The concept of a star is dead. To be someone like M.M. there has to be mystery, sexuality and glamour. Social media and porn have destroyed that. M.M. could only exist in the time she did. There will never be anyone like her. Mrs. Incredible and her thighs obviously. No one. There's only one Marilyn Monroe, and that's okay. There won't be one, because we live in a completely different era. The 50s had ended, and there was a new, young president. Marilyn died in August of 1962, and the Cuban Missile Crisis was in October. Thirteen months after that, JFK was assassinated, and LBJ was sworn in. The following year the Beatles' Rolling Stones, etc. arrived, and the Civil Rights Act and Gulf of Tonkin Resolution were both past the era we now think of as the 60s was in full swing. You cannot take Marilyn Monroe's life and death out of that context. I agree with the others. I don't think anyone will ever be that kind of icon ever again. And it's probably for the best. Our generation? What generation are you even talking about first off? No one. One of the things that made Marilyn Monroe who she was having that W.O.W. shocking factor, and that was attributed to the time and year she was alive. Times are different now. Nothing is wow for real anymore. Actually I said Amy Winehouse in a comment, but the answer has to be Princess Diana. I mean, Elton John literally rewrote Candle in the Wind for her, although I guess she isn't that modern anymore. Marilyn Monroe basically created the blonde bombshell, Hollywood starlet concept, once it's been done you're never going to be able to do it for the first time again. If there's an equivalent today then it would need to be someone who became utterly famous, and indeed almost iconic in the public eye in a way no one had ever done before, or at least not to that level. Sadly for us it's probably Kim Kardashian becoming a global icon off of a sex tape. None. Too big of a stage these days. No one, today everyone is a star and no one stands out, because there's just so many of them I think, at least partly, the big star effect was due to the masses not having access to a lot of people, just the selected ones being pushed by studios meaning that today it's easy and not at all rare to find beautiful and talented people on media platforms which were unavailable before, but no one stands out as much because the competition is far larger.